Hi guys, so we are ready for Saxon Phonics Lesson 42. So yesterday we started talking about sneaky E and we got to learn a lot about the words that had that A consonant sneaky E pattern. So today we're going to move on and learn something else. Okay, so real quick, how many letters are in our alphabet? That's right, we have 26 letters. And what are the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Very good. And vowels are specials because they have a short and a long sound. Now we're going to say the alphabet in a new way. Are you ready? So what we're going to do is you're going to have to really think about this. If it's a vowel, you're going to clap and bend down. If it is a consonant, you're going to stand up and you're going to snap. Okay? So vowels, consonants. So we're gonna get to moving a little bit. Are you ready? So if we say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. W, X, Y, Z. Very good. All right, so I'm going to say two words, and you are going to tell me if the final sound, so the ending sound in these words, are the same or different, okay? So if I say hat, ham, ham. Okay, what about fin, fin? They do, they have the n mm as the final sound. How about bet, bell? No, you hear bet, bell, ooh. Very good. How about rig, rim? No. How about rot, rot? That's right, they do. They both have that t sound. How about lap, lag? No. Mat, mat. Yes, so we're listening for that ending sound. These are the letter name cards that we have so far. So we've added some letters, we've added some digraphs, so we've also added some vowel teams or vowel digraphs too. All right, so we're going to point out and we're going to name it. Are you ready? So we have digraph PH, digraph NG, digraph EE, -E, and this is special because it's a vowel digraph. Very good. And we have E, H, C. Now remember how we're going to say this. We're going to say A, consonant E, because that dash is for the consonant. Then N, D, Z, P, L, A, F, I, B, G, U, R, T, K, and M. Very good. All right, look at all the sound cards we have. And remember, we even retired some, so we have even more sounds than this that we might be putting back on so you remember them on the cards. All right, let's start at the top. We're going to say sheep. E, E, digraph E, E. Very good. Then we have umbrella, uh, uh, U. Unicorn, U, U, U. Ring, ng, digraph N, G. Then we have apple, a. Ah. A, inch, I, I, this is tricky, are you ready? Cake, A, A, A consonant E, very good. Then we have icicle, I, 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 very good. Feather, th, th, digraph TH. Goat, G, G, very good. Overalls, O, O. Octopus, ah, O. Nest, N, N. Dog, D, D. Lion, O, L. Zebra, Z, Z. Sun, S, S. Rose, Z. S, hat, H, rabbit, er, 
R kite k K cat k C balloon B, B monkey M M elephant E E equal E E duck k Digraph CK, very good. All right, so you're gonna echo these words and listen for the sound in the middle. So remember, echo means that you're gonna bounce that sound back to me. Are you ready? So if I say tone, hope, code. Let's try it one more time, ready? Tone, hope, code. What did you hear in the middle of those words? Let's see. That's right, you hear the long O sound. Now look at these words. T own, o, k, ode. What's our rule about a vowel with a consonant behind it? Usually, when we have a consonant right behind it, it's gonna make that vowel short. But remember, there's something special about these words. What do you see? It's got that sneaky E at the end. So these words are actually saying a long O, even though it's in front of a consonant, because it's got that E. So we're gonna call these O consonant E words. All right, that's right, it's that sneaky E is back. When you have that consonant vowel consonant or CVCE pattern, the vowel changes from a short vowel to a long vowel. So let's look. Over here I have the word hop, but then I add the E and it becomes Hope. See, it changed it from ha a to ha, oh. Right here, I have the word ton, but then it changes to t own tone. I have mop that changes to mop. Tom that changes to tome. So we're changing it from that short vowel to a long vowel. All right, so our picture card for our O consonant E, or O sneaky E words, is a rope. See, listen, R O. okay? And you can see our card. Remember, when we see it, we're gonna say O consonant, because that dash stands for a consonant E. So we're gonna listen to some words that have that sneaky E in it. Are you ready? Phonics. Phonics. We learn phonics. We learn phonics. Magic E makes short sounds long. Can, cane, can becomes king. Tap, tape, tap becomes tape. Magic E makes short sounds long. Kit, kite, kit becomes kite. Pine. Pin becomes pine. Magic E makes short sounds long. Hop. Hope. Hop becomes hope. Pop. Pop. Pop becomes pope. Magic E makes short sounds long. Tub. Tube. Tub becomes tube. Q becomes Q. Magic E makes a vowel say its name. A, E, I, O, U. All right, good job. All right, so we're going to echo back some different words real quick. Are you ready? So what if I say the word cute, fuse, Mule, cute, fuse, and mule. What did you hear in the middle that time? That's right, you hear the long U sound, okay? So our picture card for these words are gonna be the, for the U consonant E is gonna be a cube, because listen, cube. So you can see our cube down here. And just like the A and the O, we're gonna cross off that sneaky E and we're gonna put that macron on top of the U to show that that's a, a U consonant E word, okay? All right, so let's listen to a couple other words. Phonics. Phonics. We learn phonics. We learn phonics. 
Let's learn words with you, 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 cube, you, you, two, two. Let's learn words with you, 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 you. Let's learn words with you, 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 Good job. All right. So guys, now that we have a couple new um, patterns that we're looking at with that O consonant E and the U consonant E, let's practice coding those words. Are you ready? Hi guys, so we're ready to code some words today. So let's look at our first word. What do we notice about its pattern? Well, I need to find my vowels first. Well, I have a vowel here and I have a vowel here, but what vowel is it? It's that E, that's right. So this word is an O consonant E word. So I know there's a trick with that sneaky E. What happens? That's right, he sneaks in, you don't hear him. He's silent, so I mark him out but he makes that vowel a long sound, so he's gonna make it say its name. So when I read it, I would say t, own, tone, very good. Now, if the E wasn't on there, I would have the word ton, but since that E is there, I have t, own, tone. All right, let's look at our next one. Where's our vowels? That's right, I have a vowel here, and I have a vowel here, but it's an E, so that's another O, consonant E word. So I know that when I code that word, I'm going to code it the same way. That E is going to become silent and that O is going to make a long sound. So I'd say k -ode. code. Very good. So tone and code. All right. Our next one, we have this word over here. What are our vowels in that word? That's right. I see a U and I see a E. So this is a U consonant word. So just like the O consonant words and all the rest of the vowels that have that sneaky E, it's gonna make the E be silent and sneak in there, but it's gonna make the vowel say a long sound. So I'm gonna put that macron on top. So now I say k cute, cute, very good. Now if the E wasn't there, it'd be k -ut, cut, but it's cute right now. All right, let's look at our next word. This one's a little tricky. What do you notice? Well, I've got that vowel and I've got an E, so it's gonna be an O sneaky E word. Okay, what else do you notice? I've got the ST, so I know I can make like a little line because I know that I can blend it together. So what do you think I would do next? That's right, the E would become silent and the O would become long and so when I sound it out, I could say st, or, store. And that's a little bit tricky because what happens is when that R is behind that O, it kind of covers up the sound and blends and says or. But what you can look at is you can think of it, hey, I'm seeing that sight word that's right in the middle of it, or. So cute, store. All right, on the bottom, this is a very long word, but we can break it apart to read it. So what do you notice about that word first? That's right, it has that ed suffix. And then over here, what do you notice? That's right, it has a double consonant. I can cross that out, I don't have to read that sound. And then it's got that str that's gonna blend together and say stir. So now I can sound it out once I know that my vowel is in front of my consonant and it's short. So stir, um, strum, very good. And then I add that D, strum. All right, it's that time of the day where we get to make some words since we coded some words. Let's All right, here we go. And so I want to use some of those vowel patterns that we worked on today. So I want to try that O sneaky. So I'm going to move my O here, and I'm going to move my E up here. But I'm going to put a consonant in between it, okay? So if I put a consonant in between it and I put a letter in front of it, now I have t own. Tone, very good. What happens if I just change my 
first vowel sound to a B. Now it's bone. Very good. All right. What if I was to make a silly word and put a P in front of it? It would be, or an M in front of it, it would be moan. But that's not how we spell moan. What if I put an L in front of it? Loan. Very good. All right, let's try another one. I'm going to put a different consonant in between there. You ready? I have an S now. What if I put an H? I've got O. Hose. Very good. Hose. What if I change it to an R? This is a word that goes with one of our picture cards. R O's. Rose. That's right. It's in our picture card because, listen, that S makes a Z sound instead of the S sound. Rose. All right. Let's try one more for today. What if I put a Z and an N? I've got Z own zone. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to try making some more words tomorrow. All right, we're going to get ready to go ahead and do our activity sheet. So we're going to go ahead and connect to Seesaw. All right, guys, we are ready to complete our activity sheet. And today we focused on that O consonant E pattern and the U consonant E pattern. You can see at the top our picture card for our O consonant E pattern was a hose. Our picture card for the U consonant E was a cube. Okay, all right, first we're going to write down how we can spell some of these words and the sounds that we hear. So if I hear the A sound, how can I spell A? Well, just like yesterday we learned, we have a new pattern. I can say A consonant E comma A. That's how I can make the A sound now. Now here's the really tricky one. How about the K sound? That's right, I can say K comma C. They both make the K sound. And then as endings, I can say CK, digraph CK. I can say K, or I can say KE. So we have lots of spellings on how we can spell the K sound now. What about the W sound? That's right, it's that W. And then what about the E sound? So we've got digraph EE, -E, comma E if it's in the middle or the beginning of the words, or we have ending E-E, -E, okay? What about the V sound? V, like feather. That's right, it's that voiced T-H. All right, and then what about the D sound? That's right, D, but then it also can be ending D or comma E-D. All right, what about the ng sound, ng? That's right, it's that digraph ng, perfect. All right, and then the t sound, t. That's right, it's t, but then it's also ending t, comma, or ed. Because remember that ed is that tricky thing where it has three different sounds it can make at the end of a word if it's using it as ed as past tense or something that's already happened. All right, and then what about the uh sound? Good job, that short U. And then the U sound, we have the long U. Okay, on number 11, we are gonna try to spell the word make. So the word make, so what do you hear? Mm. M, very good, M, A, A. So it's a long A, M, A. So to make it have that long A, I know I know I have to have that sneaky E at the end. Then this, when we see this symbol right here, that's telling us that that means it's something that we can't just sound out. It's a sight word that we just have to know how to spell. So we're just gonna practice spelling some sight words. So if we say who, when we sound it out, it sounds like just an H, but it's not. It's actually A W H O. So we're just gonna start practice writing some of our sight words that we just have to know how to spell. All right, on number 13, we're gonna try to write the ways that we can spell the 
O sound. So for O, we know it's that O, but now we have a different pattern. We have O consonant E. So now we're going to start saying O consonant E, comma, O. Okay? What about the U sound? That's right. Today we worked on U consonant E, or it can be the just the long U. All right. So now we're going to try to spell a couple more words. We're going to try to spell the word rope. So what do you hear in rope? You hear er, r, very good, r, o, the o, p, p, p. So since it's a long o, it's got to have a sneaky e. So r, o, p, rope. How about home? What do you hear in home? H, o, o, very good. Um, mm, M, but since it's a long O, it's got to have a sneaky E, very good, home. And then cute, I hear k, k, k. Hmm, at the beginning, I know that I can have a C or K that makes the K sound, but let's listen to what comes next. K, U, I know when it has a U, it's going to be the C, so K, U. But to make it a long U, it's got to have a sneaky E. So, k cute, cute. All right. So, we're going to practice coding these words and then matching them to the picture. Okay, are you ready? So, in this word, number 18, my vowel is right here. Look, I have a consonant and I have an E. So, I know it's going to be a long O. And then I'm going to cross off that sneaky E. What else do I notice about that word? That's right. It's got that digraph TH that I need to underline. So now I have the O's. Those. In my next word, where's my vowel? That's right. It's the O. But then it's got a consonant and an E. So that means it's going to be a long O and cross out the E because it's sneaky E. And that GL, remember, I can blend together and say ghoul. So I have Globe, globe. So those globe on twenty. I've got a U for my vowel, and then I have a consonant E. So long U, cross out the E because it's going to be silent. Now I have m mule, mule. Those globe mule, and then twenty one. Use my vowel. I've got a consonant as S, and I've got my sneaky E. My U's going to be long, and my E's going to be silent. So, y use, use. Those, globe, mule, use. And then on my last one, on 22, where are my vowels? I've got a vowel for O, then I've got consonant, oh, and then I've got another vowel. In between, I've got those two consonants, though. So I can divide them down the middle. Okay? So now in my first syllable, I've got an O in front of an S. So I know it's going to be short. So I have k, os, cos. In my last syllable, I've got a vowel, but then I've got consonant E. So I know it's going to be a long U and a sneaky E. So I have t, um, tum, cost, tum. Costume, very good. So those, globe, mule, use, and costume. So which word matches the picture? That's right, globe. All right, on the next one, let's look. What do you notice about 23? Well, it's got that S as a suffix, so I'm going to box it off. Then it's got an I in front of an N, so it's going to be short. F N, thin, very good, and then the S. Fins, fins. Okay, on the next one, what do you notice? Well, my vowel is A, but then I've got consonant E. So the A is going to be long, and the E is going to be silent. So now I have t, aim, tame. So fins and tame. All right, on 25, what do you notice? That's right, we have an ED suffix. Then we've got an E in front of the L, so it's, the E's going to be short. So I've got h, elp, 
help, and then the ed helped, helped. So fins, tame, helped. And then on 26, my vowel is the U. It's in front of a B, so it's going to be short. I've got that SCR, and I know I can blend that together and say skr. So I've got skr ub, scrub. Very good. And then our last word, oh, that's a longer word. Where are my vowels? I've got I as a vowel. I've got E as a vowel. In between, I've got two consonants, so that means I can divide it down the middle. The I is in front of the N, so it's going to be short. So N, and then the E is in front of a C, so it's going to be short. So S X, sex. So N, sex, N, sex. So fins, tame, helped, scrubbed, and insects. So which one of those words matches the picture? That's right, these are insects, very good. On the back, we're gonna answer some questions. So let's look at our first question. Well, the first word I know, the, in this word I see vowel sneaky E, so I can say you, k, ute, the cute kid, l, ost, lost, very good, and then one, of his, and then what do we notice here? Where's my vowels? I've got O, which is a vowel, and then I've got U, which is a vowel, and I have consonant, consonant before it. So let's break it apart here. K, ost, humes, cost, humes. So the cute kid lost one of his costumes at, and then I've got O, Sneaky E, home, home. So the cute kid lost one of his costumes at home. What was lost at home? A costume, very good. So I would circle in costume. Then I've got his friend, this is that suffix, wanted to use one of the costumes. So his friend wanted to use one of the costumes. So who, remember that suffix, wanted to use a costume? That's right, his, and we have the right here so we don't have to can spell it, friend, his friend. All right, at the bottom, you're gonna match the blend to the picture. So the pictures I have are a scarecrow, grass, splinter, and blouse. So let's go ahead and match those together. So which one starts with the grr blend? That's right, the grass. Which one starts with the sk blend? The scarecrow, very good. Which one starts with the bull blend? Blouse, good job. And then which one starts with the spool blend? Splinter, very good. All right, you guys did an awesome job and I'll see you tomorrow.